uh, as we began 2012, uh, I was start. I was talking to Joe, Joe Reynolds, who owns the Empire, and we were discussing that it would be nice to have an a open mic here. But you know, an open mic is a difficult. It's a tricky undertaking because you wanna you wanna make it as inclusive and come be with us and as invitational as you possibly can to the to the world. But when it comes right down to it, you kind of have to control the quality of it, and you have to control who comes in, and you have to make it someplace people want to be. And you know, it's hard to keep a club open if only ten people come, or if there are, is it like ninety people fighting for a moment to sing? Blah 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 blah. So there's a lot of things that go on in the thinking of an open mic. So I just thought, well, let's let's have an experiment. Let's do four Mondays in February, and um, and that quickly became. Well, if we do that, let's start the evening off with um, I've been wanting to sing, I, you know, as I mentioned earlier, it's not what I usually do, but I've been feeling more and more like the, the more I give that stuff to myself and the more I learn better things about it, the more I'm able to help the people who trust me being their outside eye. And it's, a, it's been a very valuable process. So we put this little hour before the open mic starts and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it's been kind of a big undertaking, but the point of everything I'm saying is that in the final analysis, really the only reason I'm doing any of this is because I really want to sing this next song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so crazy in love with this next song. It just took a hold of me. Uh, I obviously, it has meaning to me. <clears throat> uh, I watched the movie Something's Got to Give the other day. Have you all seen that with Diane Keaton and Jack Nicholson? Oh, I love that. Yeah. And, uh, and it's about a romance that goes quickly bad. And, and there's a funny sequence with Diane. <clears throat> there's a funny sequence with Diane Keaton. After, at the end of it, there's a whole montage of her just crying, 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 crying. It's like 10, ten vignettes of... She starts to do something and she balls and balls and balls and balls and balls. And balls. <laughs> Very funny sequence. And then at the end of it, at the end of the sequence, she's talking to her daughter and her, and her daughter says, yes, but I, would, I wouldn't want to have to go through feeling this horrible pain and I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to make myself so hurt. And Diane Keaton says, but I had the time of my life. <laughs> and I'd seen that movie probably five times and that never, really got that. And all of a sudden the other night I got it and I thought it's so related to what I think about with this song. So one of the most beautiful songs I think ever written by a brilliant Michelle Browerman and Karen Gottlieb. Here we go. <clears throat> Oh, so 
Fools and little children run away If we could go back there Would we stay After all the lows I've lived through All the years I had to go so far without you But now it's clear You were my favorite love That was my favorite dream You were my favorite love Thank you.